Okay, g'day folks, welcome back. So now we're going to take a quick look at the inside of the Frenner. Okay, so first up, what I'll do on this video is I'll go through all of the controls. Okay, and once we've done that, we're going to start it up and I'll do another video on the startup and how we, what we're going to find on the computer. Okay, so first up, let's start with flipping the screen over. Okay, now we'll start off down the side here. Okay, so now this is our override switch. Now this isn't so that you can start overloading the crane. So what you, if there's a problem with the crane, so for instance, if it was having a problem and kept jumping out of low range, because when the crane's in high range, it's not going to operate the crane functions. So by holding this in, okay, you can still then operate your crane functions in high range. Now keep in mind, it isn't there for overloading the crane. It is only there as a safety device to help you get the crane back into a safe state. Okay, over here we've got our travel mode and our crane mode. So to operate, we need to be in crane mode. Um, if we're dri driving a fair distance, we'll put it into travel mode. Okay, then we have a two-stage exhaust brake, one, two. Okay, so that's when you're going downhill, that's going to help ease up the crane a bit. Okay, so slight, just a slight hill, you might only need to put it into one. If it gets a bit steep or it's starting to run away, put it into two. And that exhaust brake is going to help pull up without wearing out the brakes too much on the crane. Okay, then we've got our wipers next to there. Okay, next to our wipers we've got our pull-on for the heater control. And then we've got our two-stage fan for the heater. Okay, up here on the stalk. Okay, let me get a better view so you can see it. No, not there. All right, so on the stalk here, you've got your indicators, right? Now, if you pull this one out, that sets off your hazard lights, all right? So to pull that out is your hazard lights, okay? To turn them off, just push your indicator down again. Okay, now we'll come over to the other side of the wheel. So we've got our headlights. Then we've got our front work lights. So they're the ones that were up here on the boom. Okay. Then you've got your rear work lights. So the ones behind you, on just above where the um, radiator is. Our rotary light, so that's our amber flashing light. Our winch speed. So if you're using a lot of rope, you can put it on rapid to go a bit quicker. All right, but keep in mind, if you're lifting up something a bit heavier, put it into turtle, otherwise you're going to struggle to lift it up. Okay, so over here we've got our cruise control on and off, and over here is our controls for our cruise control. So once you're up to speed, you can press set, and that'll set it at that particular speed. If you need to accelerate a bit more, you can just tap that up, or tap it down to a decel. Okay, now if you touch your brakes and you want to resume, just press up once more. Okay, then we've got our Bluetooth Kenwood stereo and we've got our Robway app here. Okay, I'll go into that a little bit in the next video. Okay, also keep in mind when doing the pre-start that your communications are checked, so make sure you do check them. Okay, look down in the corner here, we've got our washer bottle for the wipers, so always good to have that full. Okay, usual decals, all need to be in good condition. Okay, down here we have a emergency parking brake release and we've got our parking brake here. Okay, got an e-stop here for, in case you need to stop in a hurry. <coughs> we've got our Allison transmission. Now with our Allison transmission, reverse neutral drive, easy way to do it. Now you can manually go up and down the gears this mode button here, right? Not a lot of people know exactly what it does, but what it will do is put it in like a sports transmission like in your car. So if you're going up a steep hill, if you press and hold this mode button, you'll see a little red light come up in the corner, which means it's on, which means it will essentially rev higher through the gears just to give you that bit of extra help going up hills. Okay, down here we've got our holding brake on this side and our diff lock on the other side. Now the holding brake, this comes in very handy. So what your holding brake does, so typically if you're... Okay. 
So typically, if you're going to use your foot brake or the park brake, what that's going to do is that's going to lock all four wheels, which is going to make it very difficult to try and articulate the crane. Now the holding brake, on the other hand, if you've pulled up to a load, you're in neutral and you need to articulate the crane a little bit. If you put the holding brake on, that'll lock only the front right hand wheel, which means it's very easy to still articulate the crane while you're stationary. Okay, so typically if you're pulling up to a lift, what you'll do, you'll pull up to where you need to be, you'll put it into neutral and you'll put the holding brake on. Don't touch the park brake, that's only going to make it harder for you to try and articulate. Okay, but with the holding brake on, it does allow you to articulate freely. Now keep in mind, it's very easy to drive through it. So always make sure once it's lifted and before you start traveling, you put your foot on the foot brake, you take the holding brake off, put it into gear and away you go. Okay, now flip it back over and we'll cut. Okay, so two wheel drive and four wheel drive. Typically in most instances, most instances you only require two wheel drive but if it does get a little bit boggy or a little bit uneven okay you can always put it into four wheel drive okay down on this side all right push for high range or pull for low range so to operate the crane must be in low range okay over here we have our controls so with our controls good old-fashioned levers okay I much prefer it to the joysticks in the newer models so over here we've got our boom up and boom down so remember to go up you're always up to yourself boom up boom down rope up or winch up and rope down okay and you can telescope it in or suck the boom in or push the boom out okay so that's pretty much the inside of the apprentice. It's nice and simple once you get your head around it. Okay, so I'll end this video here and I'll put another one up shortly of um, going through the computer system and how we actually get it into crane mode. Okay, thanks for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep updated with further videos. Thank you.